All right, we're gonna watch the EcoFlow handle. An old school air conditioning. Now, uh, there's a few plugs in. One's like a seven watt draw. The rest of them are dead right now. That's really the only thing that's pulling, as you can see on the front. And it's supposed to be pulling under 1,000 watts, but just so you'll know some of the specs. So we'll see what happens. So we'll turn this on. Back here. There. That's on. All right, here we go. So it's 97 in here. See what the draw is. It says 700. Armstead power. So I just charged it. And uh, we're going to see how long it takes to drain. So I'm going to just pause on this and we're going to come back and check it. And then we're going to see if the uh, lights up here, if we get the red triangle and the red overcurrent temperature sensor error. So uh, stay tuned. So it's about 1300 watts on the draw, which is uh, a little bit more than what manufacturer specs have said. 11 minutes left. See what happens. All right, shut off. No error. Went down to five percent. So killed the battery over the course of about uh, uh, about 35, 40 minutes. And uh, no overheating. Interesting. All right, so what we're gonna do instead, we'll take this out and then we'll see if it'll take a charge. So we'll just do a solar, a light, light solar charge and see what happens. Oh, there it is. See that? So, you can't charge it after it's been depleted like that. Apparently the unit just gets too hot and it has to cool. The last time I was able to get it to charge, I had to bring it inside the house and let it cool for about an hour, and then I was able to charge. But that defeats the purpose if you're out camping or whatever and you're trying to use a portable AC unit. Uh, remember, this thing is supposed to be able to handle 15 watts, 1500 watts, no problem. Um, I think it's 2500, and, or 3000 I think even, maybe, and it's not even handling the 1000 or so on the fast draw so it's either design flaw or a faulty unit uh, when I reached out to them about this uh, they said I'll give you a refurbished unit I'm like dude this is brand new you barely used it uh, it doesn't matter once it's past 30 days it doesn't matter you get it refurbished so buyer beware I guess or go buy a different uh, brand I let this thing cool for over an hour in the house at 70 degrees and I tried twice already to charge it and it still failed each time with a uh, red triangle. It's been over an hour now. So 30 minutes wasn't enough. 45 minutes wasn't enough. Let's see if an hour is enough. Nope. Hour's not enough either. Now, the last time this happened, an hour was enough to cool it down uh, to charge it. Now, if you feel it, it feels like a little warm. That's about it. And yes, all the fans are working. So um, this may have broken it. So EcoFlow may not be able to handle 1,000 watt drains over a short period of time. It just overheats and then uh, can't recharge itself, which, you know, if you need this out in the elements, that's a problem, right? For camping, etc. So we'll see. All right, just plugged it back in. Let's see what it does. Oh, still not going to charge. Again, if you've got an EcoFlow Delta 2 and you experience this behavior, it doesn't do you any good to use this machine if you can't recharge it. 